it's Ivy from Ivy Pink Made and today I am back with an unboxing for this really fun thing that I got in the mail today. It's a Swing Design 4-in-1 mug press and I'm so excited because I just started to get into sublimation and I can't wait to do all of the things. Okay, so this um, heat press does 11 ounces, 10 ounce, 17 ounce, and also 12 ounce cups, mugs, tumblers um for sublimation so come on let's open it up and let's take a peek inside and see what color i got i bet you guys can guess though <laughs> all right so here we go right on top here are one of the pieces that attaches and then there's also this one here And then the plug and one more right here. Uh, look how cute she is. Let me just drop that box right there. <gasps> Isn't it so cute? It matches my heat press perfectly. The pink color, I'm looking at my heat press right now. Um, I will. Let me see if I can show you guys. I am so excited. Look at this pretty pink color. It matches my press perfectly. It's like the perfect pink. I love the shade of pink. So let's see. Let's plug it in, see how it works. All right, so I think this is like pretty easy to, um, here, let me turn it this way. So you just unscrew. The four screws that's on the top part right here there's four screws and you just unscrew that and then it also connects to the side right over here this piece right here so all you have to do is take it off the metal plates remove it from the plates like that okay so there's actually a little screw right over here where you can hold these wires in place. So I feel like if you are switching it off um, often that, you know, this is just like one additional thing that you don't have to like keep doing. Like if you're going to be switching different sizes, which I feel like I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be doing the same size cup all the time. Um, so we're going to want to unbolt that. I don't have a screwdriver right now. So I, unfortunately I can't do that. Um, but yeah, basically that's all that you do is that you just slide it right into this and screw this in right here i think it's fairly easy to do i was worried that it was going to be like tedious to switch all of these pieces but i think it's going to be fine Okay. All right, so I just plugged it in and you can see this is turned off and now it's turned on. There's a little button right over here that turns it on and off right here. Now the counter part, you have to, with this one, it's not automatic. You have to press this part right here to turn on the timer and then press it again to turn it off. That's the one thing where you have to remember it when you put it on a tumbler to make sure that you press a timer so that it works, <laughs> so that you don't forget, so that you don't burn your tumbler. So make sure that you press the button uh, when, to turn it on and to turn it off so that you don't like overcook your tumbler. So yeah, that's the only thing. All right, so everything is pretty much this is just like how my heat press is you just set it turn it up down you can do the temperature and the time and yeah it's exactly what i expected it to be if you're wondering if there's other heat press tumblers that's better out there in the market the answer is yes 1000 percent and they can range between 350 to 1500 dollars for me this works for what i need because i am not even a small shop this is more just for personal use and gifting for family and friends and really i bought it because it's pink 
guys thank you guys so much for unboxing with me make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you can get notifications when i post my next project using the heat press to make tumblers i'll see you guys next time bye have a good day